And welcome back my friends, welcome back to ever so sexy Age of Wonders. Yes, we are playing and continuing on with my favorite turn-based series. Well, turn-based strategy series of all time and that is of course Age of Wonders. This Age of Empires fudge. Anyway, the point is, the Age of Mythology is actually my favorite, not Age of Empires when it comes to those. I just love Age of Empires. Just amazing music, amazing music. Anyway, the point we're playing Age of, Mo <laughs> Age of Wonders, and we are in a pickle, as we have seen in previous video. This time around, we're gonna try again uh, to survive what is coming for us. We have found out that the enemy is douche a douchebag, complete and utter douchebag. Too bad this pony rider cannot reach the position of power, but it's fine. That it is. A final because we can actually do this if we are smart I mean we have to because there is a way to do this and win but it will take few done well few times for our queen to die because we have to I mean I mean we can fall back there is a there, there are different ways to do this but I'm not gonna allow them to take the city because there is a way to win Miss Cleave can survive it can win, it will win, because there is a way to actually win this. I'm hopefully we can do this, I mean, we have to. I, I, there is a way, that's for sure, so, yes, for sure. I mean, look at the map itself, amazing stuff. Also, the thing I wanted to talk about immediately, because I always forget about that, is there's, there is a playlist in Age of Wonders, you can see, it usually is random. <coughs> well random in terms uh, for instance for this campaign i believe it's not ever so random as you can see with the march of the halflings heartwood forest clouds and feuds and mountain song but you can add each one of these to the edition here uh, so i mean that's all you're gonna hear to the entirety of this level but there are a lot of songs you have the age of wonders title theme and all that of course an amazing title theme no less but still you have a huge chunk and of course we're gonna see how that's gonna change as we play amazing stuff just amazing the end i always loved those playlists like frank lepacki's list in command and conquer games let me excuse just to set up a little bit of a, a microphone story about it if there was a ear rape if there was cool for you anywho let's end the turn and see the enemy doing it i mean we at least utilize one of our spells and you know like fudge it uh, tactical. Now the question is, do they always go with the same? Yes, they do. They always go with the same kind of setup. And that means if we can kill this, this is a good... What I mean, we can kill these guys. Uh, a catapult and all that. But if we can kill uh, specifically a uh, the battering rat, we might be able to win easily. Uh, because, again, just because of that battering ram. Uh, now, there, we have some halflings on the left side beyond the city gates, as I said, because this is a small city, only one force can stay here uh, to do something. And, my, and mind you, I cannot reposition those halflings, the halfling slingers, anywhere else, because they have no movement points anymore. So this is what we have to deal with, which is not really a problem, because whenever you reload, you, there is always a way to win there is a way to win which is again a beautiful thing about this game is there is always a way to win and it beautifully shows uh, the game spirit how the game is played specifically one and two again the third one changed quite a lot so first and foremost all my units are gonna go here and defend because they're gonna be probably the only entrance for the enemy to do anything against right it's gonna be amazing uh, so, of course, uh, I'm gonna utilize my pony riders to get as fast as possible, as you can see. You see, right, almost there, almost there. I wanna try and do a massive damage upon the enemy. Can you position yourself right here? Yes. Okay. So, my only two slingers, I believe, I have two slingers, if I'm not mistaken, in the, in the city itself. So, those two slingers are gonna try and do the greatest job of them all, and that is when... <coughs> at least kill the battering ram. If we can at least damage and kill it completely, I mean, that would be amazing. Not damage. Damage doesn't do shit. I mean, we have to then risk someone to get out and stab the damnable thing. Uh, but yeah, things happen. Things happen for a reason. In this case, we get fudged by the enemy. Uh, 
Uh, also a problem on the right side, they have these two bastards that can blow darts and they are quite effective. For some freaking reason, I call them OP because honestly the goblin darters can shoot through the freaking walls, beyond the walls, compared to the hurling stones of the half fling slingers, which always have an additional probably hitting the wall by 100%, right? And I'm like, come on, that's not fair at all. But that's okay, because this is the force I have to deal with in this part. If we can kill this force, fall back inside, we can wait out for the second force to come in, rape and pillage and burn, and do the same thing with them. Uh, and of course, then again, the last force probably gonna come in and deal with our stuff. We're gonna try and lower the casualties for uh, as much as possible, because that that's the gist, that's the that's the gameplay here. Uh, lower the casualties for as much as possible, and of course, uh, not allowing our hero to find a specific place from which we can hide her from the damage of the enemy daughters, because they're gonna probably go for her. Now, if this is the, you see this, this is the perfect place for her to move in a little bit closer, if possible. No, no, not there. Okay, a little bit here, maybe. No, no, no. Okay, well, I guess I can't. It's because of this tower to exactly position her beyond, except here. Kind of ridiculous. That's literally the sprite thing, hex thing, whatever thing on the battle. You have to be, like, specific. Um, I mean, it's not a bad thing if you want to be really, really specific, but it's not a good thing either. So, okay, so this is going to be on I me. Mean, what we're doing here is experimentation to find a perfect stratagem for this bullshit. Now, on this uh, corner, on this part here, we actually are gonna allow uh, our halfling is gonna to try and reach the gates of Mordor. Now, these bastards, these bastards have 32 mother humping uh, movement points, 24, right? The thing is, they will reach one of ours, and that is a problem. Now, the thing is about these three guys, they're slingers, and the slingers, well, they were slings. And we could probably kill these two wolf riders if we do this right. If we position our things right, correctly, and be awesome like that, that would be amazing. Now, there are three slingers, and they can, they hurl stores three times, so again, the all units usually have three times shunt except catapults it would seem and battering rams uh, and of course archer well not archers no not archer anyway yeah anywho so the point here is to try and demolish the bastards that are coming uh, close to this location so i'm gonna fall back a little bit with pony rider because the pony rider is not supposed to be in front there we're gonna try and annihilate the battering ram. Let the game let the game begin because this is there is a way to do this. I am certain of it. Okay, so they're going a little bit differently this time around. He's going actually uh, on a different position, which is not a good position. Actually, this is actually quite a bad position if he opens that gate. Okay, right in front of us. That's not a bad. This one won't be. Uh, yeah, he's gonna be right behind. I mean, they're gonna be probably dead, but if we can kill as many of the wolf riders, that's gonna be beneficial. Now, the goblin dodgers, they are the thing that might kill my hero. They can poison you, and of course, do the massive amount of damage. And by our luck, we, that means that we're gonna always get fudged by the enemy. But it's fine, you know, there is a way, that there is definitely a way to do this, and we're gonna find out, we're gonna find out, there is a way, guys, there is a fucking way. But this time around, this could be a bad one, because they're really on the edge with the other army. If he went around this location, this would be a fucking GG for the enemy. Uh, so, archery, you see, 100, like, I do not understand that. Like, you see, let's bullshit, I call it bullshit here. But that's fine, like, can we at least, yeah, we see, we can do you, but we can't do you because we're not that close, and our archery has to be utilized immediately. Okay, and you, my dear, didn't do much. You did not do much. What are you? A goblin darter. If we can kill you immediately, that would be perfect. Hurl stones. Yes, as you can see, by our luck, this is going very well, because we're just that freaking amazing, you know, guys, you're just freaking amazing. Uh, I do rem oh, there it is, that's why I couldn't do it, because I didn't even see the damnable <laughs> uh, halfling there. As you can see, 100, a direct shot in front. 
and I'm gonna go for you and you missed completely of course he missed what what did I expect honestly what did I expect what did I expect well I can risk my pony riders to finish off the daughter at least if nothing else because he could probably one shot the daughter and that would be cool if the moment they break this, it's gonna be a slaughterhouse, right? Yeah, now the thing is about this specific situation is that I'm amazing. And we almost killed you. We failed though, we failed heavily. We failed heavily, my friend. Well, I'm gonna move my slingers now to the, the reposition them because this it, this didn't go well. This did not go well. But I'm gonna try and kill the wolf rider now. The thing about this specific situation is if we try to kill him, he's gonna lose that parry ability on that first strike when he missed also, which is fine, I guess. We're gonna again try and kill this one, but I would preferably attack wolf rider, but we have not one unit that can do that at this point. So again, it's probably a big loss here, which I'm fine with, I guess. Was hoping for a better outcome, but there you go. Or maybe next time, instead of countering again these forces, we're countering on eliminate this force here. Because of our uh, halflings here, I mean, if we can save these guys, I believe that's gonna be the, the main point. You know, the funny thing is, uh, stones do lower damage in the darts. You see, like, we can't even kill one uh, freaking uh, wolf rider. And see, hits mine, of course. <laughs> of course. And also, this one is already damaged. So one of these guys is going to probably die. In the next round, by that wolf rider. Uh, okay, I'm going to position you outside. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into the battle formation delta, you know, so to speak. I'm gonna move into the enemy and try to do some damage that way. What are you? A halfling swordsman? Okay, it's more halfling swordsman. I'm gonna go and attack the enemy. Right? I'm gonna, that, 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 I believe, would be the best outcome if we can do a most damage attacking and falling back. Okay, he tried to attack the pony rider, he hit the butt, didn't do the much damage that I expected he would do. And there you go. I was hoping at least maybe not a full kill, but... Uh, I was hoping for too much, I guess. Well, there goes the spearman. And my pony rider that actually has the enhancement. Yeah, of course. That I mean, unbelievable that my uh, like, <laughs> like those daughters are way better than my uh, halfling guys. Uh, that is halfling uh, rock trollers. I guess I mean pebbles attacking a fucking wolf. Yeah, well, that's gonna freaking work. Amazing job. Just freaking amazing job. Next, at least we kill something. I guess. Uh, well, again, archery, can I hit anyone with at least some damage, maybe? No, 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 well, of course, I mean, understandable, and he, she can't kill him? Bullshit, I call bullshit, look at this, look at this, it's just, you know, there are moments, those are moments, and then chances, those are chances that you might do something or not. And in this case, we're not doing much. Like, those wolf riders are beasts of burden, honestly. Oh my god, really, guys? Come on. You see this bullshit? Like, it doesn't tell you exact percentage of the ability to maybe hit the damnable thing. Because why would it? Why would it indeed? Four, one. 4-1, 4-2, so I actually, because again, probably because 2 damage here, as this one is, an, well, 
a veteran well a silver silver goddamn metal there that means an upgraded well ranked unit does more damage but uh, I call it bullshit still no it's 3-2 and compared to the others we do better job 4-1 uh, in terms of damage like come on bullshit but still, that's okay. I mean, we have to find a way to defeat this. There is a way, or we fall back. Like, honestly. What do you want me to say that we already not know? And that is, we have to fall back. Uh, what can I do with you? Maybe attack this or this. Oh, I'm gonna go for the Goblin Daughter immediately with what's left of my army. And that doesn't kill him. But that's fine. You tried to kill him. The point is, he tried to kill the enemy. I'm gonna try and kill this damnable thing. Hey, wow, the damage! He did not even feel it. But that's fine. Okay, he hits my target. The catapult finishes off most of my unit. Now, to be honest, this one went worse than the last time we played. That was our first combat, even. That was our first combat, even. So that situation didn't work as well. But I have more ways of trying this, of course. We're gonna try as many times as... Because this is a really pivotal point. If we break here, we break. As the amount of units the enemy stacks, they, I mean, of many off enemy stacks, are just incoming with such ferocity that we can't handle that more crap. Of course. Uh, well, if I, I'm gonna probably hit my own. Okay, my dear, actually, queen did something. Our queen actually did something. Which is always an amazing thing. I like that. Well, my halflings are trying, but honestly, my army is already dead, pretty much. But you do de do realize that usually we survive with two halflings and that's it. Left alive. But still, it's kind of sad. Uh, thank you, at least you tried, you're dead. Okay, but at least he tried. He tried and that is the important fact here. He tried. Okay, it's time to move close enough. To the gates, people! To the gates, so we can hold off the enemy. Our lonely... I mean, our lonely queen won't be able to do everything herself. That's the gist of it. I mean, she can't handle, ev can't handle everything. And, I mean, the amount of things, even if we win, survives that massive other wave that comes in. It's a fucking pain in the ass to deal with. And I'm trying to keep as many units alive, not specifically the half and slingers, as they show that they're not that good. Honestly, they just show that, that they're not that good. <laughs> Come on! Like, she is the hero, the leader of all manly men, and yet she does not do anything well. Wow, really? That, 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 that was your shot. Well, that's fine, I guess. You can call that fine. Okay, at least we killed that bastard. I should actually have targeted that with the sword, but still, we did some damage here. And honestly, no enemies on this side at the moment. Once most of them went for this poor little bastard. And of course, nobody can kill one wolf rider. One goddamn wolf rider, nobody can kill. Are you shitting me? Ah, that he's dead. And that's another dead. But it's fine. I, I mean, there, there are <laughs> that amount of units. Like, we are losing too many men. Manly men, mind you. Manly. Not just men, but manly men. Uh, we are losing too many manly men. Who to target, who to target. Well, to be honest, we're gonna allow the swordman to finish you off. Or maybe not. 
with our luck nothing we, we can we can never we don't we don't get the freaking break I want to try and lower that defense on that bastard you know like he opens that wall I want one wall at least open and I don't want that to be the one right so hurl stones it's all depend on if he does damage or kill this I'm gonna try it yeah okay he killed the battering ram this is good this is actually good we did something at least now I can concentrate specifically on this bastard Excellent. This way, at least, we still have four units alive. Yay! So much blood and death. But uh, the enemy is... I mean, that one Wolf Rider is their only car, to be honest. And the Ballista. But Ballista we can handle somewhat before they reach us. We can try to kill them by going with our halflings uh, everywhere, wherever we can. Okay, now they're all, go all going for the opening. This is a good... Thing for the AI, they're not trying to destroy the other walls, they can maybe succeed by destroying. I mean, if they destroy these walls, they can just go ram it from behind, but I guess it would take too much of their time to do something about it, right? Uh, so, what I'm doing here is allowing her to be cool uh, and get a little bit damaged by the enemy, which is fine, right? But now my Slingers are gonna move in and try to mow down uh, all the enemies that are moving down the line here. And that's gonna be the gist of the entire battle here. While my hero, our beautiful queen here, holds this part with the swordman. And that's gonna be it, I think. If we can manage this, it's gonna be pure GG. The Wolf Rider has to die first, though. The Wolf Rider has to die. Even though we that small, small amount to have, only one hit can do a massive damage upon us. But I believe we are safe now. Considering that the amount of forces that we have destroyed, and yet, I mean, still, it is way better than what they even uh, have at the moment. That's fine. You did well. Excellent job. Yeah, these guys are pretty much dead. But still, I would like to keep my options like this. I'm going to utilize archery from her side to do some heavy lifting. <laughs> Not really. I'm going to going to stay alone there and do something about nothing. Literally, she's going to he's going to that is he's going to stay there and have fun and maybe kill off these guys that are trying to move in with small amount of health. See? Amazing stuff. Curl stones. Excellent job. Archery. Excellent. There goes another gobo. Beautiful stuff indeed. Excellent. Excellent job. Excellent job. Uh, I'm gonna run away with the swordman. He doesn't need to fight. I'm gonna utilize this small corner. That is the, uh, the free way to hell. To her archery skills, that is. Is they're gonna have fun that way. So everybody shot. Yes, they did. Excellent job, guys. We're actually gonna win. We are actually gonna win. But the problem is that last army that will come in. That's gonna be the problem. They didn't attack us with the Rider of Rohan. That is the Flying Mountain Man. Which is fine, of course, but... Excellent job. Plus, she might get a level after all this. Curl Stones. Excellent job. Someone's gonna get promotion, that's for sure. And that's only one bastard left alive. He's not escaping. These guys are berserking us like nobody's bitch. Archery, again, I don't need to get close to you, bitch. Oh my god, I guess I have to. Really? Really? You're doing this? Oh my god. Okay, they are running away. Like little bitches they are. Excellent job. Let's rejoin our army. Excellent. Now we can try and push them. That is this. Is what they have here is not that difficult to kill. But still, we only are mostly with the units that, you know, like, they're just fucking stone thrower. They, I'm honestly, that, that was a bad mojo on my part. As definitely this shows that 
what I have here is inefficient in terms of that our archers, if you can call them, the halfling uh, slingers, are not an effective tool of war. At least it doesn't show that well compared to the. I mean, goblin daughters have just have enough, you know, of the of the things. Okay, for 119, I cannot do that. I cannot do that, sadly. I'm gonna explore, explore at least some, somewhat here and you know everywhere. Just explore at least, see what we can see. But there, there they are. If we can get that amount of gold, which I we, we might get in. Well, we will get in next two turns. <coughs> it's gonna be fine. So save again, cause we did well. Of course, save me not end. Save. Thank you very much. Uh, I always forget on which one did I save and which I did not. So I'm gonna get go from Q and move on down. Fudge it. Then I'm gonna cry because I didn't do this right. Oh my god, you guys don't have anything. <laughs> These guys don't have shit. Uh, well, that's okay. I mean, they have a shit, but they don't have anything of use. And one turn left for migration. Excellent. With the walls and migration, these guys... Well, I could say this map is a GG for now. We destroy, like, those two waves, act, you know, in a very perfected way. You know, like, real beasts these halflings are. Just perfect beasts of war. Uh, and again, excellent stuff. Okay, so, that's it. So, this, what we await here is that this army attacks uh, this town. This army is going to wait out for the enemy. As soon as we destroy this town, we're going to go migration. We kill left two units there, move back here, and, and be awesome like that. Okay, halfling pony rider. Let me just see what I'm getting. Two more pony riders there, which is excellent. Just two turns two of these pony riders. I'm hopeful. I'm. I want the elves. I want the elves as they feel like they're secondary objective, a secret objective. That would be amazing. I don't want to take every single thing though of the enemy because maybe that way I can explore the entirety of the map. I feel that there might be other armors. I, I do not know. I cannot remember exactly what we can leave with to the, with the, you know towards the next mission. Can we bring all the items or only specific items? Probably only specific items like in Heroes game. But that's fine. That is uh, fine. As she XP 30 of 30 and that means in an extra she has will level up that is she will level up excellent did you level up you're supposed to be a ding but you're not the dung so there you go okay I think it's time for us to move slowly but surely towards the enemy with this army and start raping and pillaging and burning as they say uh, okay plus 69 okay as expected that we're gonna be getting a lot of money out of that crap because now we have another city which produces 32 gold points gold pieces let's go automatic if this goes bad I am blaming you guys on this just saying okay excellent job excellent job guys so again, that is a goblin city. That means migration immediately. Excellent. Now I'm gonna leave two units. Uh, I don't know which units, but I probably I'm gonna leave uh, these two beasts as I do not need them at well. Actually, I do need them. So pony riders are coming with us, and all others. Excellent. Uh, and maybe actually one pony rider will stay to explore the rest of this realm. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Move on. Because we have noticed at least in these smaller cities, only one rebellion unit comes out, right? One dude. And that's fine. He can't overcome three or two probably, especially with medals that they have. I'm hopeful, of course. Yeah, that's it. We cannot go over the mountains, but there are, it seems there is possible path through all this. And again, I would like to explore as much as possible. I want to explore the entirety of the well, all the maps, but somehow it always feels like we are in a hurry, so to speak. Uh, 77, excellent. Everything is going fine and dandy. 
get our pony riders up here. Our, our riders of Rohan, if you will. We cannot allow the enemy to recuperate their losses. As that would be quite bad. And not beneficial for anyone. Yep, 7 units. And the flying unit. Now the problem in this one are the wolf riders. Of course. Oh, we are how we we did put position to produce more units here. Excellent, excellent. I totally forgot about it. See, you, you tend to forget stuff, which is fine for some people, but not for me, of course. We're gonna move in here. We're gonna join on with uh, our forces, destroy whatever they have, and there's gonna be a small little city so I can explore down the line as much as I want. As there is also a cave here. There is a cave. Here, uh, what do I have here? Okay, not a huge chunk of four C's per se, but yeah, we might be okay. That's it. Okay, so that's it. Is only dwarves can go over the mountains, while in later games everybody can go over the mountains, but they get the massive penalty if they don't have over the mountains far away skill. I would like immediately to rape you, but I will not. I will make a massive force. And attack you as soon as possible. As I can definitely deal with what they have here. I'm hopeful, of course. Uh, I'm hopeful. Okay, I have enough money to actually buy you, guys. And what do I get? Well, enough. Or oh, not actually, I don't have enough money yet. 119. We get a cleric, an elf cleric. Usually the most ancient of elven kind. Elven clerics are bound to nature. From whence their power comes. They are likely, well, keenly aware... Of a delicate balance of life and are dedicated to seeing it flourish wherever they may be. Uh, they are able to project their life energies in the form of a weapon, or if they choose, they can weave it into powerful spells of healing. Like all elves, they can pass the forest effortlessly and can entangle enemies with equal ease in the limbs and leaves of the forest maze. Elven clerics stand against the powers of the undead and will sacrifice all to see such abomination destroyed. Elven clerics do not seek power and as such it comes to them freely. Yeah. Okay, so what I get out about the elves, they tend to be like Spock and Vulcans. So there you go. Elf swordsman, the common elven warrior, is proficient in the use of the long sword in melee combat. Uh, these foot soldiers are lightly armored. Like all elves, elven swordsmen feel most at home in the forest and are able to move easily, of course, through heavily wooded areas. They also possess a slightly high resistance to magic. Uh, due to their fragile bodies, elven warriors are not powerful or devastating, but they fight skillfully and nimbly, striking their opponents more often than not with every swing of the blade. And of course, it would be nice to see them in action as they look fucking cool. <laughs> I mean, if you play on a lower resolution, you can see much detail on these units. Whereas we're playing on 1024 by whatever, you can't. But if you play on a lower resolution, it looks fucking amazing. Like, come on. Fucking amazing. And next year I'm getting these guys and exploring more. But for now, we are have the opera and I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm pushing too much. I'm like pushing this too much. But I think I have right to do so, as we, we should be able to deal with whatever the enemy throws at us now. And specifically, if I move this force down, right? If we move this force down, I'm gonna say, of course, before I move that force down. Uh, QW, thank you very much. Move it. They're coming from two sides, they ain't gonna know what hit them, because that's gonna be just a pure GG for them. Okay, they're splitting up. This is good. This is very good. Now, I don't know if we take all the cities and that's a GG or just something else, right? And we cannot even attack this city, to be honest. Yeah, we can't even attack that city. That's kind of sad. Yeah, that's sad. We can't attack that city. As we don't have any uh, battering rams. So they're quite safe. That's why they left. They knew that we don't have it. They knew that we are noobs. But here we come. Here we come. Well, we can move in and try to catch them with their pants down. 
map. I mean, they still have a lot of units there, to be honest. Okay, yes, I know. We are pretty much full. Okay, let's get our elf. Accept. Excellent. More forces for us. And they have actual battering ram, which would be perfect. Uh, but we don't need you. So, maybe we will again explore this region. Uh, elves would be perfect, I guess, if you want to really explore, explore the exploration part. Because, again, there, there, there are, there's a lot, it feels like, there, you know, to explore and find. And I really want to do that. Okay, so these guys are going for this uh, city here. Pretty much obvious, of course, but still. Excellent, get a little bit of buff there. We cannot really sp allow ourselves to spread our forces like this, but at the moment there's only one way towards uh, Miss Cleave. So I'm hopeful that it's gonna be okay. Okay, now if she had the, uh, you know, like, I, I guess she has to kill another person just to get the XP, 30 out of 30. Uh, to get uh, that is the level up, or maybe that's, or maybe that's this is the level three. That's the maximum amount for the uh, for the specific scenario, probably. Now, if we attack this, of course everybody moves in, which is never a good thing. Uh, but uh, considering the amount of forces that I have, and co considering the amount of forces they have, I think I could win. I would like to wait out on a few units here. Honestly, I would like to wait out on a few units. Yeah. I'm gonna fall, maybe. Maybe. Could I? Should I? Would I? I don't know. Maybe I should. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, I don't think... Yeah, maybe Pony Rider only. Here. Go. Excellent. Yeah, I think I could deal with what the enemy has there. If we can chase them and, and, and get, into, get them sandwiched... That would be perfect. Uh, now, because of the catapult, they are going slower by 20, but that's only 20. Yeah, we'll see how that's gonna deal. Uh, what kind of a deal will that be for us? Reality wise. So, this part I'm probably gonna explore. Uh, continue exploration uh, with the halfling. But everything else we're gonna be gonna move in our elves up. I'm gonna explore this location. Now this is the question: what to do? I have a chance, but if I leave these guys behind, they might go behind us and annihilate whatever. So I, I guess these two will have to stay behind and do nothing. Uh, let's get merchandise going. Again, pony rides. I'm gonna. You as many of them as, as I can, not really, just a few. Because that's reality wise, the only thing I need. Still waiting for this town to become ours in two turns. Hopefully, it's gonna stay like that. So, this is the question what to do, how to move, and all that groovy stuff. Uh, you see, now the thing is, if they attack us, they're gonna have some units from behind coming and from front. So, that's not a good thing. We're not really in the greatest position. So what I'm going to do here is, move like this, so avoid those two. Yeah, no way I'm going to reach you anytime soon. What without you? Yeah. Oh, maybe I will. Oh my god, I might be able to... Yes, I will. Oh, they have another party over here. Well, let's say, because I feel this is going to be it for their armies. I mean, this is our leader. If she dies again, I have to save. Uh, let's save on QE. And attack these bastards. Tactical. Because this is quite a big battle for us. Uh, we're coming from every side. Not really, actually. I was hoping those two other ones will be... We would, you know, combined. We'll, we'll combine, but that didn't work. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, so as we are an attacker, we have a first right and you know to do whatever we want spell casting chain lightning okay that will be perfect for this 
And do remember, if they are defending, that means that these two are going to try and uh, reach that location. And we cannot allow that. Archery. Yeah, okay. Go. Excellent stuff. Of course, you know, going with pony riders like this, not the greatest thing you can do against the spearmen. You know, that's not the smartest thing you can do. But considering our situation, at the moment we are winning and they are losing, and that feels good. That feels freaking good. It looks amazing, of course. Uh, swordmen. I'm gonna spread our halfling slingers to attack from the sides, where all halfling swordmen attack from front. Didn't I actually look at the elves in terms of stats? In terms of stats, definitely. But the thing is, I'm not bored when I play this game, you know, like, as a setting compared to D&D &D setting. I don't know why. As I said, to me, D&D &D always feels such a cliche. It's always the same. It's always the good guys, the bad guys, the ugly guys, and all that. But, I mean, it's the same here. But somehow it's much more cooler. You know, cooler. Yeah, that's the word. Cooler. Uh, now what to do with these armies? These armies have an issue is that they don't have one figure and if they attack, I don't think we can ever attack the flying units, you know, like, without anything. So they can utilize this to uh, literally mop up all these guys. So what we're gonna do here is wait out until we clear this and then move in with the main force. Okay, they're going for my hero, of course. And, and of course, moving in one of those... Okay, excellent. They're going for my hero. That That's the gist of it. I did not expect that. I was thinking that they're going to probably just stay behind. But that's fine. Move in. I mean, I should think about it like this. If she dies, everybody dies. <laughs> like, we lose. <laughs> but hell's wells. It's fine. I saved. So it's okay. And uh, now what should we... Okay, first spell casting. Chain lightning for the very first mother humping time. Excellent. It's not like in Age of Wonders 2 where you wait for five seconds so everybody dies. But still. Uh, stunned. Oh, we stunned... Two wolf riders. This is very, very good indeed. Great. No damage against the flying bastard. I always like them apples. Swordman in front of her. Protect the lady. Can I even touch you without killing myself? Okay, maybe I can do this. Yeah, they like them stones, not apples in this case, though. Not apples. Excellent. Some damage, so maybe our swordsman can immediately kill this bastard. Excellent job, swordman. Actually, actually, uh, bleh, 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 amazing job. There you go. That's what I wanted to say. Can you move? Yeah, in front of her would be more beneficial, while he protects her flank, as again, she is the Delio. Excellent. Now she's protected from all the sides, almost. So that's cool. Uh, these guys are moving from the back. They're coming. They're coming, and they know they're coming. Excellent job, guys. Excellent job. Uh, okay, let's see. We dropped the magic with her, so that's it for her. Okay, so definitely she can counter that. Excellent. I do forget about this catapult for some reason. Well, I only have two and everything that costs is too much. So that's not a good thing. Uh, well, first and foremost, deal with obvious targets. That is the wolf riders. Yeah, that didn't go well. As you can see, I cannot target this bastard. But in, in um, it would seem we can target that bastard only in a retaliation strike. After they hit us. Which is strange, but still. Or maybe I'm just looking at the wrong thing. Targeting that is the wrong thing. 
Great job, my dear. Great job. Yeah, you can't. Well, that's fine. We tried. We failed. Excellent job. She might die. But you tried. I tried indeed. Okay, let's first hurl stones. Ooh, excellent! Excellent jump there. Uh, uh, I did not expect that amount of love. I'm gonna try and lower the health of some units while I kill this bastard. Excellent! We killed the Vyvern, which is a level 3 unit. Which is sad, but true. Excellent! At least we, we had that... Well, hit our own units from behind once. Hey, Catapult, we are so close, but yet so far away. I guess I should move them first, so my lady can actually survive, our queen. She is actually quite a danger. Because uh, the thing is, if they try to take theirs, a retaliation strike for one, and of course they can defeat. Uh, hit maybe, but this little writer is a problem, and we do not exactly know this best. It's five and three. This is the first fire sprite we ever meet, and enhance it would seem. Okay, thankfully they're stupid. Okay, she is close to dying. Uh, very, very close to dying. Yeah, and my halflings are so slow, they, there is no way we can reach the catapult in time. Which is, again, not, should not be a problem. Let's just hope we can hurl stones better than them. And did we kill all the wolf riders? Yes, we did. Excellent. Uh, almost close, not enough. Let's use the full health personas. Thank you very much, so I can run away like a little bitch. Excellent. <laughs> like, if we lost there, that would be a pain in the ass. And honestly, did we really lose anything significant? I think we lost two units, maybe. I don't know, I can't remember. Did we lose anyone? I think we didn't lose anyone. And as I say that, he actually does miss the goddamn Halfling Slinger, which is always a nice thing. And, of course, that happens. And I totally forgot to move these guys. Noob mistakes all over the place. Well, at least you guys tried. First, I'm gonna GTFO out of here with all my units of that are here. I want to try and keep these guys alive for as long as possible. Which is fine, of course, if we can. If we can't, someone's gonna cry. Okay, he's dead in the next turn anyway. Okay, you tried. He tried to kill my pony rider. How dare you try and kill a pony? Like, how, what kind of a douchebag you have to be to kill, try and kill a pony? Uh, that thing feels undefended. Can someone try maybe to take that thing on? We have to, of course, still need the battering ram even if we want to try, right? Even if there is nothing there. Yeah, there is absolutely nothing in Kinstar. I think Kinstar is quite a big place. Uh, amazing. Uh, all in all, it would seem we have won, guys. We have actually won this. We no enemies, no, no enemy activities. We killed so many stack, it's ridiculous. But uh, thankfully to the saves states, if you will. So many... I mean, again, if, if we didn't save the entire... Like, we would have to do the entire freaking mission again. If we're gonna play it like that. And, of course, I'm not gonna play it like that. It's retarded. Uh, this is a PC game, for fuck's sake. Uh, but still, uh, most of the critical points were on our leader, which is a good excuse to utilize saves constantly. Anyway, uh, reloads, that is. Uh, so yeah, let me just see the elves, because at some point we're gonna be playing with elves, elf units, 5224, as you can see, definitely better uh, uh, defense against magic, 2 damage and 5 attack. I mean, if you compare it to the halfling, uh, uh, 4224, which again, both are actually quite good, interestingly enough, but still their abilities 
do dif differ enough for it to be unique, if you will. Uh, so what can we do now? Nothing. We wait it out a little bit, move on to this, uh, attack that, take uh, the, the village, the city, whatever, and that's gonna be a pure GG. They're left with one boat and two units, from what we are noticing at least. Now there could be a massive actually armada somewhere, and they're, ooh, they're definitely building a goblin shaman. We just see him here. I don't know if he has been built or there was a, a party there. A party poopa. We shall find out. Yeah, there, that was just a goblin shaman there, like a douchebag. And there it is. A power node can be changed into anything, I believe, uh, that is your, of your sphere of influence. Uh, what is your sphere? Whatever it can, you want it to be. So now uh, we shall surround the enemy here. We shall surround the enemy, take this, surround this specific enemy, because that's a small city, so we don't really care about it, right? We're gonna have enough units there. Move the catapults also. We only need one catapult for this. So that catapult will be moving out. Excellent stuff. And we will utilize our hero to explore uh, the monster lair. No enemy heroes, though, but someone dropped the enhancement on the enemy, so there has to be an enemy hero. Again, this is owned by goblins, those evil, evil gobos. Which is totally fine. Uh, but I want to explore the entirety of the map first. That That's the gist of it. Oh god, I forgot. I was thinking that thing changed. Ooh, this could be a bad thing in the next turn. We might lose that. Ah, fudge me, I was thinking that thing has been under control already. Ah, oh, fudge me. That's fine, that's fine. That's only one small city, but hey, you know, small things begin with the big people. Not really. Anyway, move in. Let's explore as much as possible, because I want to find everything, everything possible in this damnable level. And that, that's just a nice thing. We have so many units, it's ridiculous now. Not really, but it is. Okay, attack. Automatic. We really don't need to do this, right? I'm hoping. Excellent. And we got another city. And there is actually a little small stack there of little bitches. Isn't that cute? Enter. Change. And produce merchandise. No, migration. Uh, actually, can we... Oh, we can migrate in a different... Oh, we can migrate into the elves. This is good. It's only five turns, more turns. Interesting. Interesting, indeed. Okay, then they're gonna probably spam certain units. Uh, there, as you have seen, they're uh, bringing the slinger... Well, it is the uh, goblin... Uh, blowtowers, blowtowers, yeah, those, Dartman, West Lies the Flower Shire. This actually might be the longer video, or maybe not. Okay, there is the hero. Okay, so I'm gonna actually save. The next time we capture more, explore more, and then we finish it all, because there is an best laugh, which is a heavy freaking thing there. Oh my gee, that's, that's a big mojo there. I don't think I'll be able to handle that. But that's fine. The amount of units I have at the moment, and we okay. Thankfully, this thing, the Harbor Harboro, did not break. So, excellent. I can just continue move uh, move uh, my freaking units towards the new massive town of Kinstar. And that's it, guys. I wish you the very best. Next time, more love. And probably the last video. Maybe they're gonna really bring some pain. They probably will bring some pain. Okay.